listeners. Since the podcasts at the new moon are proving popular, I thought I would do one at the full moon also. There's always different energy to think about and ways in which we can harness that energy to our advantage. The moon is full on the 26th or the 27th of April, depending on where you are physically located on this globe. And the moon is considered full when the light of the sun opposite lights it up. The moon does not generate light of its own. And normally a full moon time will expose matters that have been hidden. Since this time the light, the sun is in Taurus and is shining on the moon in Scorpio, a particularly secretive sign, we can expect deeply hidden secrets to be exposed. Is one of those secrets information from NASA that in fact there have been sightings of UFOs that have also been videoed? So UFOs are real? While in some circles this is well known, the official line has been silent and in fact deny that there are any such phenomenon. Are we at last acknowledging that there are other intelligent entities in our universe. How best can we interact with them? What can we offer them? What can they offer us? What else might be coming into the light at this time? You know, there's an awful lot of confusion going on globally about all sorts of matters. So watch and observe and look out not only for the mainstream media, but look at the social media and other avenues of information as well. The full moon will also light up the Scorpio sector of your chart. If you don't know where that is, there are numerous online sites that will calculate a chart for you if you input your time, date and place of birth. And I'm happy to help you analyse the information further. Simply contact me by email, Evelyn, E-V-E-L-Y-N, at karma, Q-A-L-M-A, dot com, dot A-U. I'll be happy to help. In some circles, it is well known that the forces of darkness are required to reveal their plans in advance. And there are many examples of this occurring usually through the movies or global public events like the Olympic Games. And most people have not realised that what they have viewed as entertainment is actually a flash of what is to become or what could become our reality. Did you know that? Can you think of anything you might have viewed in the past that actually has seems to have come true? One such plan, in inverted commas, that has been in plain sight is the plan of the World Economic Forum for Global Domination. Led by Klaus Schwab, this group of, inverted commas, enlightened men believe that they're smarter than the average Joe and therefore they are best equipped to decide the future of the masses, us, globally. What do you reckon about that? Is that what you would like for your future? If we seek carefully, we find that this plan has been unfolding for many years. And why don't we know about it? Well, the mass media is not inclined to inform us, which makes me question, are they part of this plan? And I suppose for many of us, the notion of a World Economic Forum seems a fairly ordinary, dry, uninteresting sort of forum or group of people. And we would never dream that they could have so much power and influence over our way of life. But when you check it out, it's actually quite interesting and a little bit scary. Features of the plans they have in, in place include 
adjusting the banking system in such a way that we will own nothing. How can that be? What about those of us who have spent a lot of time putting aside money for, for like me, for uh, when I am no longer able to work in full-time employment? What about those of you who are still working, who are putting away money for in superannuation or paying off the mortgage on a house, which you see as an asset to help you as you as you age? What about those of us who've been careful with our resources and perhaps a bit lucky? How will we feel about owning nothing? According to the big plan, we will all receive what is called UBI, Universal Basic Income. Now, I did some research on the internet, on Google and the World Economic Forum, and some of this information he seems to be quite well hidden. But go if you don't believe me, go look for yourself. It seems quite innocuous on the outside, but, you know, control systems of any kind can be used for good just as well as they can be used for bad. And no doubt with some sort of universal basic income, we would be controlled, in inverted commas, by the health system, such that we can access certain places only if we have been subject to the proscribed treatment. You know what I mean. This has the potential to morph into a social control system so that with a cashless economy, which is also something that's being pushed, a record of how much income we receive and a trace on our electronic transactions, we can be allowed to access privileges or denied if we have not the appropriate social credits. I believe a system like this is already alive and well in China. Is this something that we in supposedly democratic parts of the West are interested in embracing? Now, I'm not making this up. Go and do your own research um, and I'll put the, there's a couple of references I'll put underneath this on the commentary for this uh, podcast. And then think about, ask yourself, is that the future that you foresee for yourself? And if it's not, you need to take some action to derail it. And as far as I believe, the first action is to simply be aware that this is on the agenda. And we will all have different reactions depending on our individual financial situation and whether or not we are employed. So please go and do your own research. Do not believe anything anybody else tells you. I do know that any system that removes the incentive for a person to strive to improve themselves, it concerns me. As human beings, we're all competitive in various ways. And removing incentives for improvements generally leads to lazy, depressed folk who've got no um, no get up and go uh, they've just got no no joie de vivre no, no almost no reason for living if you can't uh, benefit from your own efforts what's the point a further concern I have is the assault on our spirituality when we receive everything we supposedly need everything material is given does this allow for soul growth or spiritual growth to occur as a result of lessons we might learn from managing our resources intelligently and making the mistakes so we can learn from it? On the other hand, if we have all the materials and resources we supposedly need, will that stop us wanting more? I don't know about you, but there's always something that would be, oh, that'd be nice to have, even if I don't desperately want it. But perhaps I won't buy it this month or this week. I'll wait till next week. Maybe there'll be a bit more resources for it. Or 
another thought, will that allow us, having universal basic income, allow us to focus on building more robust and respectful relationships with other people and respecting the earth and all that dwell therein. So building and working on relationships with our families, and we all know that sometimes there's always someone in the family who is, uh, we find challenging to relate to. Uh, we're working very hard globally to respect our animals more. There's more and more people being aware of the cruelty that some human beings impose upon these poor mute beasts that have no way of uh, defending themselves. So will, if we have enough income, will that us help us, will that allow us to help them? So just food for thought. And around the full moon, Venus, the planet that governs our values, our personal values and our resources, and Uranus, which is surprises, they're both in Taurus as well. So they're both opposite the moon in Scorpio. Maybe they could offer some surprises and enjoyable, resor uh, enjoyable experiences around resources. Maybe you'll have a little win on Tats Lotto or the horses. Or maybe you'll benefit from a, a will, maybe. Observe what's going on around you around this time of this full moon. That's Monday or Tuesday and, and Wednesday. It'll, it'll, the energy will last through the week. I'd be very interested to know what's happened for you. Have a good week, folk. Bye for now.